So these are my recent vinyl pickups. Recent as in from December, you know, on. In a cool bag from Blackbird Music, which is an Edmonton music record store that is awesome. Uh, and I have some goodies in here that I'll share with you. And, okay, so starting with this, a classic that I didn't have yet. So this was a, a must. We're trying to get all the Iron Maiden vinyls in our collection, so this was a must. Very proud of it, it's in very good condition because I think it's brand new. Uh, this is the gem that I mentioned in my in my top five uh, metal albums of 2020. I had to get it. It's uh, it, it was just such one of the few good things about 2020. I had to get this one. It's a cool cover. It's heavy. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now, Camelot Haven. Uh, those of you who watched my Camelot and the Female Figure Part 3 have already seen this one. Uh, but I didn't have it yet, so this is pretty exciting. Brand new as well. Yeah. Hopefully one day I'll have all Camelot vinyls, if that, it's, if that is even possible. I don't even... I don't think... I don't think they're... Uh, maybe they'll release, like, their backlog. I don't know. We need to reissue Black Halo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We need the black halo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Death Magnetic. This this was like Steve's pick. Uh, Metallica is very much like his his you know heart and soul and yeah. So collection is growing. Is this do we have other Metallica vinyls? I think we're missing like two or three and that's it. Okay. Oh that's good. Yeah, almost up because I lost track. Now there's here. Here's an oddball. <gasps> it's sorry. Yeah, the woman in me, Shania Twain, the woman in me. It's like the album, right? So many good tracks in here. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. Canadian glory. <laughs> really cool. Um, and then there's this one, which I was so stoked about. Rammstein, Untitled. Um, this album also represents one of the few good things about 2020. Our trip to Germany to visit my best friend. Steve finally met my best friend uh, in person for the very first time. And we were listening to this a lot when, when we went there. And she has the CD, and when I was there, I was looking through the sleeve, and it was such a, it's a very good sleeve for a CD. Like you expect vinyls to have more work being done, to its materiality, but a CD with that much material, oh, it was impressive. I spent a lot of time looking through it, and uh, yeah, very very good memories associated with this. Look at the minimalism. You gotta love this, eh? Yeah. And here are some, some gems as well. Look at this. This I used for my Camelot one also. It's signed and it's sealed. Delivered. Use the big uh, one. What? Use the big one. No, but I showed this one too, didn't I? No, not the final cut. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hidden gem. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Look at this. It's signed and it's... And like I mentioned on my video about Camelot part, the Camelot Part 3, this is my favorite Camelot um, album cover. So, yeah. This is the Super Limited Collector's Edition. Pfft, edition. Super Limited Collector's Edition. Yeah, 3,000 copies worldwide, only personally signed by Camelot. Bonus seven inch vinyl with two exclusive songs plus full album on CD. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Beauty. And then there's 
another one. Oh, of the little ones. Okay, so this one is the single for Sanctuary. Look at this cover. I love it. What else is on that? It's so monochromatic. Um, Drifter and I've Got the Fire. Oh my god, this picture on the back is hilarious. With just like an, an open body there, just like bleeding. <laughs> showing, like the bowels are showing. Okay, wow. Holy shit. And Iron Maiden's gonna get you, no matter wherever, whoever you are. Yeah, this is super cool. Super exciting. And the last one is The Trooper. Hey, it's your favorite song. <laughs> it's my least favorite Iron Maiden song. I can't stand this fucking song. Can't stand it. You're welcome. Hate me. Whatever. Can't stand the fucking song. Love the, the very iconic cover for it, but nope. Can't stand the song. Uh, but the cool thing about this one, this one is like, oh, I'm, I'm super excited about this one because this one is The Trooper and Cross-Eyed Mary, the Jethro Tull cover that they did that I only know of because many, many, many years ago when I was a child, you know, Joe Marcelo that I've mentioned in this channel before in my Iron Maiden video, he had this uh, CD with like B Iron Maiden B-sides or something and uh, Cross-Eyed Mary was one of them. I remember that I really liked the Cross-Eyed Mary one and the Reach Out. Reach Out was a, like a song sung by Adrian Smith and it had, I think it was released with Somewhere in Time because it had that very airy guitar, I don't know. But yeah, and so I when I saw this, I was like, no, this is where it came from. I didn't even know. So yeah, I don't like the trooper, but this is totally worth it just for Cross-Eyed Mary. <laughs> yeah, and, and these are my my recent picks. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and I also bought this. Well, Steve bought this for me. Yeah. Thank you. I'm I'm anxiously waiting for the return of Stranger Things. Anyway. Bye!